school for four years, but honestly, Brett, it's gone by so fast, and I feel like high school's just been so short. I know, it's been really short. Just like these special short films KNTV's been making for the past month. Today's The Round Amount is a very special one, as we are going to showcase the best of the best short film we have to offer. Lucia, are you ready? Right, I'm ready, but are you ready? I was born ready. Let's go, special round the mountain. Oh, we're back? Oh, okay. Um, the chip. All right, first short film. Here we go. What do you got for me? Well, Bray, I wanted to ask you, what do you think's going to happen when we're 40 and old and wrinkly? Well, I hope really I'm not wrinkly at 40 and using uh, Icy Hot. But, you know, I've always wanted to be a firefighter. You know, I hope there's world peace. And hopefully I can get some ice cream from McDonald's. Well, that sounds like such a great future. But, Bray, what if I told you there could be a takeover? Takeover? Takeover of what? Well, what if I told you that it's possible that there could be robots. I got that hit to beat the block. You can get that bass on below. I got that rock and roll, that future flow, that digital spit, next level visual. I got that. Yeah? What, Wilson? I'm jamming to my jams. What jam? Dude. The Black Eyed Peas. Shut up, Oh, you quiet. I'm sold 3,008. You sold 2,000 and late. I got that boom, boom, boom. That future boom, boom, boom. Let me get in there. You've been training for some months, man. You gotta, you gotta step up. I mean, you kind of dragged me along in this. We wanted to make a difference, and this is our chance to. Yeah, but did they really have to send us out here into the woods? Oh, there it is. So that must be the power station. Yeah, there are a lot of parts here. They didn't lie in camp when there'd be a bunch of clankers around here. So, what do we do now? I think we protect- I don't know, this is heartbreaking to see. Uh, dude, they're just robots. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, we just gotta protect it, so let's just go. Alright. Look at this thing. It must be connected to a undercover pipe in the log. That's why no one's kind of seen it since now. Very inconspicuous. You know I don't like big words, Wilson. Sorry, Derek. Hey, man! What are you doing? Remember what they told us back in camp? Never, Never touch, touch the, the power, power station. station. Literally every day they told us that. Why? Because it'll wake up all these clankers and restart what happened a hundred years ago. They told us this every day. I mean, yeah, but is that so bad? Bad? Don't you remember the horror stories? Yeah, I guess so. Sorry. I mean, look around! Not all of this. This is mayhem. This power station is what's keeping us from going back to where we were. And we don't want that. Yeah, just hard to see. But just a lot of them. I know. But it's our, it's our job. We gotta protect people like you and me. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're right, you're right. Glad you understand. Dude, looks like it's lunchtime. We better head back. I don't have a clock. I tell time by my freckles. Come on. I'm hungry too. I heard they got pastrami today. I love me some pastrami. Well, some of my other favorite meats like ham, you know, turkey. I like bacon too. Bacon is very good. Especially breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I like, um, I don't know. I'm pepper jack. I don't like cheese on a cheese. Wilson, come on. My meat's getting cold. Yeah, sorry. I'm coming. Dude, Wilson, it's the, the, the lunch time! Woo! Let's get it. Time to dig in, baby. How can you think of a food at a time like this? 
because it's lunchtime. And they gave me a chocolate chip cookie today because it's Wednesday. That's fair. I didn't get a chocolate chip cookie. Eh, you're not special. Oh, I got a little salad. How'd you get the cookie? Because I asked nicely. What, what, let's just eat. I don't, I don't have the appetite right now. I've just been thinking about what if, what if, what if we turned on? Turned it on? Dude, it'll be okay, man. Hey, hey guys, what's up? Oh, what's good, boys? Hey, yeah. you know, uh, you know, you know. Just during lunchtime, but dude, get this. This man just talked about how he wanted to turn on the power station. Dude, no, what the heck? No, we talked about this. We talked about this. I, we I, talked about this. I know, we I talked know. about. You know how much training we went through to learn not to turn the power station and keep these robots exactly. down for good? I don't. I don't understand. Okay, so they put us on guard duty this morning, and so we went down there, we checked the place out, you know, because it's our jobs, but he he just got a little weird seeing all the dead robots. Like, dude, they're just robots. They're not real. Like, they, they look, they look really, they look really, they, but they're not. They're not real. The no. I, I, I know, I, I know we've been taught, I know we've been told to do, but just staring at them, what, you, what, what I've seen, just looking out there, even for how short I was there. Dude, looked. staring at them? No. Dude, come on. Man, what are you talking about? Dude, they're just robots. You choose them over us? You know how much training we've been through? You know how much I've sacrificed to do this yeah. with you? To be with you? You want to be part of something? Well, here we are. And right now I'm doing I'm doing this because of you, man. I know what you did for me. I put my life always going in and out between places, never knowing who I can be without having to be on one side. Now I finally have a chance to make a difference, and why I want you, to. Why do you think I did this with you then, Wilson? I know. But you we have a job. We have to right stick now. to it. All right. What? Where are you going? Head to my post. No, you're not. You need to cool off, man. I'm fine. You're not fine. Get, get to the bathroom. Cool off. I'll see, I'll see you there. pandemic and you know we were quarantined and everything was shut down we had to wear like masks yeah so this short film takes a little twist with covid breaking news the death count of bovid 21 has just hit 100,000 in the first two weeks this is not a joke everyone must stay home sanitize and keep your distance Dude, I can't believe school got canceled for two weeks. I know, it's crazy. It's gonna be so fun though. Mm, I don't know, we need to all stay in our houses. Mm. We'll be it's back in no time. time. I don't think you guys are taking this seriously enough. Um, cool. Time to go home. Bye guys. Bye guys. Bye. The deadliest virus to ever hit Earth has forced all of society into isolation. With people dying left and right, anyone can be a carrier. You can't trust anybody, not even your own family. Oh. Hey Alexa, what's up? Bovid. What do you mean you think Claire has Bovid? I just, I just hugged her and I hugged it. You guys could both have it for all I know. Hurry, protect yourself. Go get the suit. I, I can't talk right now. I need to go sanitize. I. Uh. Thank you for the fish, Mom. It's 
delectable. Yes, I already fed the dog. Dad, why would you ask that? You know this is a sensitive topic. Look at these walls behind me. Does it really look like I would know what the weather's like? We've been trapped in here for years and it's just so wrong for you to say something like that. Like, I can't believe you would do that. That's so rude. I can't do this anymore. Alexa, I need to get in there. No! ones who understand me. Good, good. Keep my lighting there. Alright, now you can see my full complexion. That was a very interesting short film. But now that you have a question for you, you know, we've been in high school for four years. What was your high school life like? Well, honestly, Brett, for the past four years, it just feels like the same day is happening over and over and over again. So like deja vu, but every day. Exactly. And in one of our short films, Jesse actually goes through deja vu every day. No way. Let's look at it. I've repeated this day 47 times now. It all started that first day. I woke up and went through the day like normal. It was just an ordinary day, until I woke up in a sweat thinking it was just a dream, but then the same events started repeating. And then again and again, that person kept finding me and killing me. It's been excruciating, but I think I finally figured out who's doing this to me. Hey, Jesse. Hey, what's up, what's up? I totally caught my EOC. No way, which class? English. Oh my god, I hate that class. I probably failed that too. Hey, um, sorry, I have, to, I have to take this for one sec. Okay, see you later. Hey, Jesse. What's oh. up? Hey. Can you me? Um, I applied my EOC. Didn't you just tell me that yesterday? I'm sorry, what? You literally just told me that yesterday. English, right? We got our EOC today. No, you Oh, I have to get this one on. Hey, Jesse. Okay, but I, uh, I totally thought my EOC. Didn't you just tell me that yesterday? About what? Yeah, we, you literally just told me that yesterday. English, right? We are EOC today. No, I swear you told me that yesterday. Oh my 
going on to get this. All right, I'll see you. <laughs> Better. And today we have a very special guest on our Round the Mountain, a famous celebrity all the way from Northridge, part of the Oscar-nominated short film November the 4th, Chaz Chad. Welcome in, brother. How does it feel to be famous, man? It feels, it feels good. You know, you got to stay humble, though. Yeah, so what's this short film all about? It's the notebook, Romeo and Juliet, Titanic. Dude, I've never seen the Titanic. It's a tearjerker. You're going to need tissues. Well, now that I have some tissues, I guess we should check it out. Chaz, if you want to be his girlfriend, you're going to need to lose the glasses first. Just, oh, oh, yeah. Let's give you a little bit of a makeover. Hot dog! I've never had my hair braided before. What, you don't have a mom? She died. Oh, that sucks. It looks I know you don't know me, but my name's November. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, I can wear your Letterman jacket.
What the heck? What? Why are you talking to her? Why not? She's my best friend. I've known you for like two days. I kind of gotta go. How could you do this to me? And I really thought a guy like you could love a girl like me. I was only asking her what's your favorite restaurant is so we can go out to the game. Really? What is your favorite restaurant? She says she only known you for two days. Pancake Barn? Yes. when you wanted to be pretty. What are you talking about? Oh. You did really good at the game tonight. Yeah, my arms are really tired. I can't believe she's gone. Every day my heart aches, even though it's only been two hours. I would never play football again since I shatter every bone of my little legs. I've lost both patches today, football and November, in that order. But I've learned a lot. You should live every day like, you're, like it's your last and never judge a book by its cover. Ski. Are you okay? I'm about a tissue. Hey, I know that last short film was really, really sad, really but sad. hopefully the next one will make you feel better. Oh, I hope so. So yeah, I woke up today and I fell right back asleep after my first period. Uh, yeah, okay. Second period,
just found her. Send help. <laughs> Well, Mustangs, that's all we have for you here, and that is it for the class of 2021. It's been a fun four, arguably three years. Definitely interesting, but you know what? No class could have done it than our class. We we say thank you to everyone who's helped us get us this far and to graduate. Class 2021, it's been fun. We'll see you around. Have fun at graduation. Mason, you have something to say? Hey, be smooth, and when life gives you lemons, make pink lemonade. Good luck to everyone out there, class 2021. That is a wrap.